what is always the subject of dreams? One subject never fails. Why are dreams the natural object or subject of analysis? Like, why aren't they just simple? Why are they always a puzzle? Therefore, why are dreams always challenges to understand? What then is the goal of that master craftsman of our dreams? If this is true, if this is true, if this is true. Is it possible then that it, that every dream reveals something important that you did not know about yourself? Is that always true? Yes. Are only the people that show up to do dream analysis? <laughs> Think it's true even in Brooklyn? What do you make of it? What is the subject of dreams? I want to say self. Oh, really? Yeah. How do you spell that? Uh, S-E-L-F. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, why are dreams natural objects of understanding? Well, forget the word natural for a moment. Because they're, I mean, just because they are there, like, there must be some purpose to them. Yeah, yeah, that's why I was wondering what the purpose was. Oh, what the purpose? Well, that's a different question. Well, I, have, I was pleased by that difference. Okay. Then it does reveal something that you didn't know about yourself? Yeah. Something important that yeah. you ignored. Why, why does the craftsman of dream give a damn? I don't know. I think, I don't know. He must be like a really nice guy. Well, when you have a problem like that, always ask Josh. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think the natural... The subject of dreams is our self and our quest for excellence and our highest self. And so they're challenges to us because they do reveal to us the limits of our understanding. Mm -hmm. And so therefore, we're learning and we don't know something. I mean, if it were easy and we already understood it, we would just see right through it to begin with. Mm -hmm. So it inherently contains that which we don't know in it. And then the goal, as I already said, is to bring us to experience the fullest nature of the self possible mm. and what is our excellence and our destiny that we can reach to. And then finally, uh, it does reveal something that we don't know about ourselves. And even if something that we know we don't know, it's like we don't know the significance of that not knowing. <laughs> Let me like, see if you're right. John, what do you think of that? I think he's right on mind. Sounded all right? Sounds good to me. Um, Sounds good to me. What, what? It sounded good to me. <laughs> hey, it sounds so like it is. That if it sounds good to three people in a row, it might be <laughs> true. <laughs> anyway, possible? I think you need another one. Well, let me check. If three people agree, it might be true. It yeah. might be true. <laughs> <laughs> there was one word he did not use. Okay. okay. Okay, how many dreams do we have for tonight? I have two. Two sheets, three. I put mine up there on your table. Okay.
Oh, good, 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 good. good. Ah, good. More? More? I think I don't think. Josh, are you going to do it tonight? I'll try, yeah. I mean, do it. Do it. Okay. Well, what would happen? I would just learn how to get better. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Take a look at it. Okay. Okay. Very good. Oh. I'm pretty good, man. ones back there on that brown table. If you need me to send you it, I can send it to you on email. Okay. I need your email address. Either one or both, but whichever you want to do. Okay, and no, no. <laughs> That's what I want. <laughs> the last one's more recent if you'd rather do that one. The first one's a little odd, though. <laughs> I liked it. Okay, everyone got to time to take time to look it over? I don't know, Josh hasn't decided yet. bunch of women in the ground like roots of a tree. There were some that were green and others that were red in color. There was this man standing in the middle of them as though he was the tree. He gets full of emotion. Then this affects the women. They start to awaken. Their eyes turn red. They get puffed up like a bodybuilder. Then their mouths start to foam. The man sees this and then starts uh, starts to calm himself. Then this affects the women and they start to fall back to sleep. All right. <laughs> on. Pardon my lack of art here. All right. Bunch of women in the ground like roots of a tree. Yes. Um, they're actually women that look like women that are in the ground, but they're like the roots of a tree, okay. like they're embedded in the ground. Mm -hmm. 
some were green and others were red. Mm -hmm. What kind yes. of green and red? Um, uh, well, like the ones that were green were like, um, like the color, I would say, of grass. And the red ones, I would say, were more like a redded, like a, um, oh, God, how would I explain it? Like a dark red. Like a, like a brick color, almost. And what was it like looking at them? Um, it was... It was beautiful, but yet very strange. Strange? Well, because you don't. That, Willie? <laughs> no, because you never wouldn't have necessarily think that women would be this color because they're not green or red in color. Normal everyday women. And were you wondering about that color? No, actually, it seemed natural, but yet, natural. but can, yet can you hear weird. Uh -huh. Yeah. Sorry, it seemed natural but weird. Natural but weird. Yes. Huh? <laughs> I know. Um, at least I'm trying to think. Um, like, how do I explain it? Like it almost seemed like they were supposed to be there. Supposed to be there. Yes. Okay, good, good. Tell me about this man standing in the middle of, of them as though he was a tree. Yes. Um, I say that because it seemed like whatever he was going through, they were going through. Like? Like it was, there was a connection. Okay, so there was a connection. Okay. Yes. Like the yes. way we kind of drew it, right? Right. So, right. like what happens to the trunk of the tree? What happened to the roots? What happens to the roots? Right. Okay. Whatever the tree would feel, the roots would feel, right? Okay. It would be like a unity type of thing. All right. And so he's like a what to them? <sighs> That's a good question. What was the question? He's what? like a what? No, he's no. like a what to them. Pardon me? He's like a what to them? Yeah, I'm like, like he, I don't know. Like they seem like one, like they're mm -hmm. one entity. Mm -hmm. So to me, when you say, what is he to them? It seems like you're trying to separate the two. But I don't think there's any separation. Like they're one thing. Okay. They are one thing, but they follow what happens to him. Yes. It's not like what happens to the roots happened to him, happened to them. That's a good question too. Hmm. Well, in my dream, that didn't happen, so I can't say. So according to the dream, what right. happens to him happens to the roots. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, his feeling state is their feeling state. And, but it could be vice versa, too. Well, that's just according to the words of the dream. Yeah. All right. He gets full of emotion, then this affects the women. Mm-hmm. Full of emotion. Yes. Like? I want to say anger because of what happens to the women. Oh, good. I'm glad I asked. And in this case, that's not just any emotion. That's anger. That's yes, anger. because of what happens to the women. Okay, and then they get that way, too. It seems that way, yes. It seems that way? Yes. What do you mean by that? Well, because their eyes get red. They get, um, they foam at the mouth. They get puffed up like a bodybuilder. So I don't understand that reference. I mean, um, I've seen dead <laughs> bodybuild before. And like their like their veins of their um, in their skin pop out, and they like get muscle. Um, like at first they look just like normal women, but when this starts to happen, they start to like, you know, their their muscles start to puff up. Okay. And they're and they're they're like like um have you ever seen um that show uh the green guy what's it called ah now my brain just kicked the Hulk, Hulk, Hulk. the Hulk thank you yeah the Hulk yes oh wow so yes just anger like what do you mean say more about that 
See, this is, I was watching this like it was a movie. Um, so whatever I was seeing was like I was watching a movie. It was that I personally, like, I could, I was, like, understanding what was going on, but I wasn't really feeling it. You mm-hmm. get what I mean? Sure, yeah. Um, no, when, I, when you watch a movie, you just watch with a black Well, I do, movie. no, no, no. I do get, I get, when the movie gets emotional, I get scared, I get scared. And when the movie, you know, gets emotional, I get emotional. So, yeah, you can get those things from a movie. And do yeah. you have those states as being an observer in the dream? Or yes. Or like for you? Yes. Oh, so here you are over here. Yeah, and I'm watching this. And you're watching this. Yes. And you're getting the states too. Yes. Oh, so you have all of the same things as the guy and the same things as the yes. as the roots. Yes. That's pretty interesting. Right. But it's more it was more of a um like like I said, an outside type of thing because mm-hmm. I was it was like I was watching a movie. Okay. An outside type of thing. Yeah, where it's not like it's actually affecting me like it would if it was actually happening to me. So like, my feelings are more deeper when it's actually happening to me than when I'm watching a movie. Okay. If that makes any sense. Uh, to some extent, and yeah. then, like, only in the sense that maybe you weren't as angry? Yes. But you were angry. I could feel their anger. Oh, you could feel their anger. Yes. Okay, so what do you call that when you can feel um, somebody else's? Uh, empathy, empathist. Okay, so you're feeling empathy. Yeah. To some extent. To some extent. Okay. Right. All right. So let's continue. Uh, the man sees this and then starts to calm himself, and then this affects the women, and they start to fall back to sleep. Yes. Mm-hmm. All right. Describe that, please. Describe that scene. <sighs> okay. So I'm watching this, and he notices that from the outside he notices that this is happening and so he starts to calm get zen Mm -hmm. and then that affects the roots Mm -hmm. and then they start to calm Mm -hmm. and get zen and go back to sleep okay good that's you made an analysis of the dream right right okay would you have done anything different what is, what is our dream analyst doing? He's going through it methodically. Mm-hmm. Right? Uh, is there anything missing? Uh, would you have done the same or would you have done something different? Anyone? Yeah, go ahead. Um, ask what the problem is. Good. Good. Uh, where's the problem? Well, thank you for asking my next question. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand do the words see, of the do dream. You, do you see the problem? I have an idea of what I see, what I think is the problem. Okay, go ahead. Uh, and so, you Hold want them. me to tell her what I think? Okay, the everybody. <laughs> yeah. well, just a second. Okay. Any other comment? Okay, go ahead. Continue. Well, I've got to ask, what, what, do you see a problem? Uh, these, these dreams are more difficult for me because I'm watching it from the outside. Mm-hmm. So these ones are way more difficult for me to get into because I'm watching it from the outside. I'm glad we chose the hard one. Right. <laughs> When I'm in them, when I'm personally in them, they're way more personal to me. Mm-hmm. And I can feel more what's going on than, than I can feel here. Like I, it's not like I can't feel it. It's just like it's not as personal, if that okay. makes any sense. Okay. Your view of the problem would be? Um, I think I want to look right here. Well, what do you do with it? Go ahead. This is the problem as he understands it. Go ahead. Well, I'm a little bit awry because in one sense it's not so obvious to me. 
so I, I'm kind of struggling to see it clearly. Like, okay. uh, but I am wondering about this gets full of emotion. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, well, let me let me know. Do you have an idea of what the problem is? Can you offer in terms of the dream? Um, well, I, no, I was making an observation more or less. So. Okay. Well, see, I'm puzzled about the man who is as if he were the tree. Mm-hmm. Okay. Which is different than if he were mm-hmm. the tree. That's yes. So I was wondering if you have any, any reflection. Well, because he looks different okay. than the women. No, no, he looks hold, like hold a... It, oh, hold okay, hold sorry. It. Yes. Uh, show your hand go up. I'm, I'm pointing at my assistant. I guess I would have focused more on what is it like for her to be observing. Mm. Yeah, okay. Okay. Her okay. Her sure. <coughs> I, I, I have a question. I'm in the dark here. You can't see me. Please. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> But I, I wanted to know about the, the last <coughs> sentence where he noticed the women and then he reacted and how mm-hmm. how did you observe that, I guess? Okay. I think that he saw that there was going to be danger if he continued to keep being angry. Mm-hmm. So at that point, he decided to calm himself. So, um, so they wouldn't attack him. Okay, look. In terms of the story Mm -hmm. of the dream, Mm -hmm. what's the drama that is going on in this dream? Is something happening that's rather important? (coughs) And is it lost? Mm. What's right? He gets full of emotion. That's good. More? I think he's... I think the problem is, is he's, he's not aware of himself. Pardon? He's not aware of himself and okay. his effect of others. Okay. He's Look, always connected to these people. Would you agree mm. a good number of you are interested in, uh, uh, perhaps Barbara is. Oh, I don't have a... <laughs> <laughs> oh. But, but Barbara? <laughs> but, but you don't need it, Barbara. I just have a question. Okay. <laughs> um, you don't need it. Did you happen to have an interest in people and yourself awakening? Oh, yes. Mm. Mm-hmm. Oh. If you were looking at a dream where that's the theme and they're beginning to wake up and get full back to sleep, were that interested? Yeah. I'll be darned. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> If that's the case, what do you want to do? So you have the material. Now, what do you, how do you want to proceed with that in mind? You started it. Come on. <laughs> well, I would say that um, I would be concerned with <laughs> how the, the one person has an effect over the whole, but I don't mm. think that's... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Stay on the idea. Don, help her out. Mm. Yeah, man. Would hey, wouldn't you and I want to know what it was like for her in the dream to see they were starting to awaken? Yes, sir. Oh, what was that like? Powerful. Oh, I don't know the word powerful. Mm-hmm. What add more to it? Um, they got very animated. Uh um, because when they're sleeping, they seem very peaceful and at rest. Yeah. And they're not, um, they're not doing anything. They're not active. But they're now starting now to awaken. Now they're becoming active. What did that do to you, to see that they were now starting to awaken? Um... I saw that they were very powerful. I saw that if they continued to mm-hmm. awaken, they'd come out of the ground and attack. Yeah. yeah. And attack what? Him. Yeah. By the way, in the same or way... Or I felt like he felt like it's yeah. they were going to attack him. Yeah. In the same way, what was it like to see that they start to fall back to sleep? 
Then they start to unpuff in. What does it do to you? Um, I'll help you out. Okay? Mm -hmm. It's natural for women to fall back to sleep and mm -hmm. no longer have an interest in being awakened. No. What? Um, see, like, what did it do to you in the dream to see that they were about to awaken? They start to. That was, that was the most powerful part of the dream. Yeah, yeah. Effect it had on you? Uh, powerful. I just felt like this, oh, like, this intensity. Oh, good. Intensity. Um, like, oh, yeah. Um, I was very but interested. Dull. No. Okay, tell me. Um... This is so hard for me because it's from the outside. Um, like this is like the pinnacle point of the movie. Oh. Like you're on the edge of your seat. Yeah, and you're like, yeah, oh my yeah, God, I'm wondering yeah. what's going to go They're about to, Oh my God. They're going to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And then uh, yeah, I'm going to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, you're doing great, sir. <laughs> okay now the drama is what put them back to sleep him uh, no no that's true in the dream look at it he sees what he's what he's doing is affecting them so he's he changes his state of mind mm -hmm. in order to change their state of mind mm -hmm. but the effect it had was when they fall asleep they go back to sleep. Mm -hmm. You're seeing how women can begin to wake up mm -hmm. and what puts them to sleep. We have to see that <laughs> in the dream, don't we? Mm -hmm. Now you caught it, see? Mm -hmm. um, notice, hey, bodybuilder, mouth starts to foam. The man sees this and he calms himself, starts calming himself down. Right? Mm -hmm. And this affects the women. Mm -hmm. What do you see in that? What's going on in the dream? Uh, yeah, it reminds me a lot of uh, my no. ex-marriage. Like, his emotion wakes them up, yeah. begins to wake them up. But then as he continues... Yeah, they'll get more puffed up. Yeah, more by the way, uh, have you ever known uh, men to begin to foam? Mm. <laughs> I've seen men get angry. Yeah, is that pretty, anger? Wait a minute. Pretty bad. What state of mind is he in then? Oh, they're in? The women? These are the women that were foaming at the mouth. Mm. I think you're asking about this one. See, with the effect it's having on them, they start to awaken. Mm -hmm. Their eyes turn red. Mm -hmm. They get puffed up like a bodybuilder. Mm -hmm. And their mouths begin to foam. The man sees this and starts to call, calm himself. Hmm. Yeah, it's weird that I, ne I hey, didn't see what this is, happening. As the women are going through this, what is he doing through? He's going through the same thing. He's going to calm himself. Yes. That's interesting, yeah. Looks like it's having an effect on him, isn't it? Doesn't it, in the dream? Yes, it's like, it's like dual, like what's happening to one is happening to the other. It's yeah. like, um, like, there's some sort of kinship there. Like well, a the, connection. the kinship, it, it puts them asleep. Yeah. Come mm. on, do it again. Stay in the words. The man sees this change in the women. Mm -hmm. Come on, what does he start to do? Calm himself. Hey, he's calming himself down because he, hey, he was full of emotion. Yes. Remember, that was very positive. Mm. Now he's calming himself <laughs> down from that emotion, isn't he? Mm -hmm. yeah. But that's what woke the women up. Yeah. Go ahead, you're getting close to seeing. 
Yeah. Like, why does this have to happen? Like, why does one thing have to happen in order for the other to happen? See, the emotion woke them up. Then he calms himself down. <laughs> yeah, I gotta put those women to sleep. So, you have to talk then about that moment when he is full of emotion and you said some nice things about that. Right? Could you point it out? His emotion or their emotion? Well, it says he gets full of emotion. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the anger. I, I want to say it's anger because of how it's affecting them, the women. Hmm. Yeah, that's women. Yeah, yeah. This is, this is all she gave is, is he angry? I'm assuming it's anger. No, no, it's okay to assume it if it's yeah. in the dream. Right. It has to be in the dream. Right. Well, I'm... It seems to me like I'm more interested in what's going on with the women than him. Um, I know that. That's why we're talking about the man. They're waking up when they mm -hmm. see the emotion. And yeah. What, right? At well, it's that, like his emotions affecting their emotion. And that wakes them up? Yes. Then he calms his emotion down, and what and, does that do? And it calms their emotion down. <laughs> yes. Good. Huh. That's why we need to know in the dream. You're seeing in the dream, see? Mm -hmm. I'm the one that's obser observing. When he gives up, where would you put that great emotional state? Is that of theirs of, or his? Huh? Of his or theirs, or his, both? His. Of his. He's full of emotion. Ah, uh, that's the pinnacle point. His emotion is the top is, is that for this? him. Yes. Anger. Yes, I want to say it's anger. Yes. Then he's angry. Ah, uh, yeah. Ah, okay. <clears throat> they start to awaken with that. Yes. And then they appear this way. Yes. And he sees the effect it has. Yes. Then he's going to calm down. <laughs> and that puts them to sleep. Uh-huh. What wakes them up? The anger. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of that? Yeah. Hmm? Yeah, sounds familiar. It does? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have guessed that, would you? No, not at all. You'll have to tell us about it. Uh, I don't believe you've ever seen men get angry. Oh, yeah, I have. You have? Oh, yeah. Oh. Pretty awful anger. And what happens when they start calming themselves down? It brings peace back to the home. Then that... Then you go back to sleep. Hmm. What do you find interesting about that? Since it looks like you've seen it. Mm hmm Sounds very familiar. Pardon me? Sounds very familiar. Hmm. See, what you're saying is that you've been putting your attention on the women. Mm. And you're now seeing the role that the men are, this man is playing. And that's new to you in terms of this dream as we oh, work through it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What yeah, does that yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Um, I used to want to always put the blame on myself. Go ahead. For the anger. Um, and I would take on a lot of the, uh, the, uh, Okay, one last question, right? What state of mind are the women in in the end as their mouths so begin to foam? They're, that's the pinnacle. That's... The pinnacle of their emotion. What kind of emotion, since you called his I wanna, anger? What? I think they're like, a uh, rabbit, almost. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> They're rabid. 
Like, uh, like, like, a, yeah, like, yeah, like, like an Peter animal Rabbit. Gets. Yeah, like how an animal gets when they get rabies. <laughs> okay, 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 good. <laughs> so wait a minute, are they, is that a further state of anger? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And when they do that, mm-hmm. that puts them asleep again, according to your dream. Is that right? Mm. This affects the women, and they go back to sleep. <laughs> yeah. Sounds familiar. Good. Good. <laughs> <laughs> now, we have to decide whether or not we want to push that and get her to mm-hmm. say more about it, but yeah. it's up to her whether she wants to volunteer that, True. right? True. Yeah. 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 She does seem a bit reluctant. Uh, do you want to leave? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you want to leave that alone? Hey, you know what? We can go in the next stream. Uh, can we do that? Can we do that? Sure. Okay, let's go to the next stream. I one more question. Please, about the right dream, ahead. Which is, you said that the women are going to do... Harm to him. Anger and they're going to harm him. Yes. So they have the power. So now they're awake? Yeah, and they have the power. And when they're awake, then they can... Attack him. Him. Mm-hmm. And they have the power because they outnumber him. Okay, and then therefore he wants to then... Put them to sleep so they don't have the power over him. <laughs> what do you think about that? Sounds familiar. Sounds familiar. Okay, good. Uh, I was also wondering um, about the fact that... So you would say that he is like the cause and then they are the... No, I want to... Well... <laughs> okay, we'll leave that. Um, <laughs> okay, what? Yeah, I want to put the blame back on myself again. Um, and I don't want to do that. Um, I think we should put the blame where it belongs with him. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. What do you think about that? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Oh, I'm not comfortable with it, but I, uh, that's where the dream is saying I should go. And what does he see about women who are awake? Oh, you got to put those women back to sleep. You they can't are. have that. can't have that. <laughs> they are what? Uh, stronger than him. And? Pow- more powerful. And? He sees danger. Oh, danger, yes. Oh, yeah, they're very, yeah. You can't have women that think. They're dangerous. Okay. Okay. Let's hear about that. All right. Thanks. I, I did see mm-hmm. the effect of him on the women, of course. That's clear. Mm-hmm. I didn't see the awakened part of it. Yeah. And okay. that's just fundamentally crucial. So. Yeah, right, right. Or the fact that once they're awakened, they're a danger. Right. <laughs> better put them back to sleep. So. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is weird because you, describe, yeah, you describe them as what when they're asleep? <laughs> Very peaceful, very zen. And? Um, Beautiful, yes. (laughs) 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 Oh, God. (laughs) Uh, That's natural. Oh, yeah, it's natural, yeah. But? No, totally natural, yeah. But weird. So we got a good vision of what it means to be a beautiful woman. (laughs) Oh, yeah, you can't say nothing. You got to be quiet, yeah. Uh That's just natural. Oh, yeah, it's totally natural. Yeah. Totally, yeah. yeah. That's how Good. you want your women, right? Yeah. Good, that was helpful. <laughs> that was helpful. Okay. We need another volunteer to do the second dream. Thanks Who's up for it? Thank, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Josh. Much. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> look at that. Hey, look at We have a new, yeah, we have a new philosopher in the group. Yeah. yeah. I didn't see the real problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and it was difficult for me because when I see things from uh, like an outside perspective, keep returning to that. Yeah, that's super yeah, interesting. Because yeah. you know? when I'm in it, I can I can yeah, feel it more. If that makes any sense. Well, while you're thinking about it, we need another volunteer to do the next dream. Yes, 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 of course.
This is just for the Where do you want it? Here? Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Good, yeah. good. Yeah. Perfect. My pleasure, my pleasure. Do I get to pass the buck now? Do you want to do the next one, Barbara? What? Do you want to do the next one? All of these are stories. This one should be a little easier because I'm in this Treat it like a mystery. Where's the problem? Right. Who killed the butler? Uh, find out where the problem is. Pierre sees it right away, so. I often do, but... In terms of that second dream, can you identify what the dreamer has reported as the problem? Mm -hmm. Okay. What is the goal of the dream? Mm -hmm. What task is being set forward? Now, you could make an analysis of the whole dream, like we just did, or you can go for the problem <laughs> and then open it up from the problem. <laughs> All right? Okay. Two ways of going. You're on. Yeah. Well, I don't like the analysis thing. It takes a long time, and I don't like drawing. <laughs> How can you understand her words? Like, I wouldn't have understood the words full of emotion. Mm. Like, if I read a dream and I hear full of emotion, mm. I know what I mean by that. How can you, like, mm. I don't know. Ask questions like you did. That was good. I and I would have never started seeing them as dangerous. Yeah. Right at the same time. Okay. Mm. So, in terms now of the second dream, mm -hmm. what would you say is the issue that you're going to address? For the dreamer, come on, in the dream. If that is your departure point, right, then a lot of things are going to follow naturally. Hmm. Okay, Jeff? Do you want me to read it first? Sure. sure. Okay, this uh, dream is about communication. <coughs> I was taking different scenarios, such as different people, events in which these people were participating in. And then I applied different types of communication with them. In some scenarios, certain people loved what I said, but others did not. But the things I said were the same as the prior scenario. Just the people were different. Then I applied mine in their feeling states accord, uh, according to how I felt and how they felt. Uh, when they loved it and when they did not love it. Um, then I tried to see what fit and what didn't fit. Um, good question. Um, well, I see that I want to be able to communicate with others on a high level. Um, and I'm trying to figure out why in certain circumstances I can do that and in other circumstances I can't. But it looks like it's because of the people I'm communicating with that I'm unable to do it with those and why I'm able to do it with others, it seems like to me. Say, so, by the way, is that the way you normally would proceed? Uh, Are there any surprises in that? I 
I just like I keep seeing, I keep asking myself why, why is it one case in one scenario and not in the other scenario, and mm -hmm. I want to know why. Okay, you go ahead. So I was seeing it looked to me like the problem is probably in the last three sentences. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Go so ahead. somewhere I'm I'm not right on it yet, but somewhere between a, it just sounds funny to me. Then I applied mine and their feeling states according to how I felt. So you have a standard mm -hmm. you're using it on both and how they felt. So mm -hmm. it's sound, just something's ringing to me as a strange standard mm -hmm. in that of why did them, they loved what I said and when they didn't and mm -hmm. tried to see what fit and what didn't fit. So there's just something there that's sounds weird to me. Yeah. Um, um. What I was doing was like uh, I was communicating to s people about um, my states of mind and what I thought and like a higher uh, type of talking, um, a higher levels of mm -hmm. talking than you would normally do with normal people. <laughs> and um, <laughs> Yeah, and then the people that were loving it were like on that same level as me, but the ones that didn't love it were on, I don't want to say a lower level, but they just weren't getting it. Like, um, they were confused. They, they, some of them got angry with me. Um, some of them thought I was all, that I thought I was all that. Um, others were just like, okay, I'm out of here. Um, but the ones I could communicate with were like sticking with me all the way through, were loving what I said, had things to say of their own. Um, it was a very unifying uh, experience. It was a very uplifting experience. We, they were on a high, I was on a high when I was communicating with these other people. It just plummeted. And it wasn't a good experience for them or for me. So that's what I mean by that when I say that. Okay. Well, Pierre, I'm at the spot where Josh was, and I'm going to start fishing. <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't started yet. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't started fishing yet. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think there's something going on here. I'm just I'm not quite pulling it together. Okay. All right. Someone else wanted to try it from this wanted, point? Come on well, up. I just wanted to point out no, that no. I, don't, I don't think she answered your question. The one question you asked her was, what does it mean for something to fit? Oh. And I don't think she answered you. At least I did not hear it. Well, it's because the communication with some were fitting. And when the communications were, mm -hmm. with others were not fitting. Fitting yeah. what? what? Like, what? because there was with the certain what? people, it was like doing. meshing. Yeah, Everything yeah. was going well. What Conversations were going well. Suspicious. Uh, they, were, they were giving well, and I was giving. Okay. Okay. And then with okay. the others, it wasn't fitting. They weren't fitting. I mean, there's, I mean, they were off here, I was off there. and okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Does that make sense by fitting? Home. Huh? Okay. No flow. No flow. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, uh, would you tell me what it's like when you're doing that, whatever you're doing in the last sentence? Go ahead. Uh, I what, applied mine right, in their filling hold states. It, hold it, look at it, see. Mm -hmm. Th there you are, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, you're yeah, not going we're drinking to coffee, yeah. Yeah, what <laughs> is it like I tried to, go ahead, to see... Uh, doo -doo -doo. I applied my mind in their feeling states. Is that what you're talking about? I don't know. There are two groups of people. Yeah, yeah. Positive and negative. Yes, yeah, yeah. big time, yes. So just read that last sentence. I applied mine and their feeling states. Then I tried to see what fit. fit and Go didn't ahead. fit. Yeah, then I tried to see what fit and didn't fit. Yeah. yeah. What, what were you in the dream? What was the life doing that? Tell me what you were doing and I what was, it was life doing that. I was trying to understand why I could communicate with certain people on a high level 
and I could not communicate with others on a high level, and why it it why this why it affected these people positively and why it affected these people negatively, and good. what that did to me. That's good. Now read the last sentence, and what would you add? Read it out loud. Then I tried to see what fit and what didn't fit. What does that um, mean? That Trying means to see that what fit that made them yeah, like, positive. Yeah, and what yeah, made yeah, the others yeah, negative. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. What was it like doing that in the dream? Okay. Um, hey. Because it was like, it, to me, it didn't make sense why I could have a, a, the same exact conversation Nothing different whatsoever yeah. with certain people, and it went really well. And with other people, it didn't. And it and I was trying to see why that was, why it fit, why this conversation fit with these people, and why the conversation didn't fit with the other people. Good, good, good. Got one more line for you to tell me about. Right. Um, See the third line from the bottom? When I applied it. Just the people were different. Yeah, it's just the people were different. What does that mean? Um, that they were a, a, a di different set of people. Um, is, like, that, is that explaining? Uh, like I'm trying to remember who these people were. Like... Um, that's offering an explanation, isn't it? Yeah, they were different in some sort of way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, okay. These, right, they're both... People. Right, they're different. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Do you have an answer to your question? But what are you doing? In terms oh, of the I should last have asked what's the difference, huh? Yeah, yeah. What are you doing? I'm You're trying, trying to figure out why it yeah. works in one and doesn't in the yeah. other. And I should have figured out why they're different. Yeah, what are you ignoring? The difference between the peoples. Oh, yeah, I should have figured out that. Yeah. Are you taking the blame for this failure? Yes. <laughs> I am. Standard you're, Belinda. <laughs> you're taking the blame for the failure? Yes. While at the same time, you know? Just the people are different. Yes. Ooh, yeah. What do you make of that? <laughs> sounds like me. Yeah, it sounds like me. <laughs> Therefore? I should have figured out why the te people were different instead of taking the blame upon myself. Yeah, rather than? Yeah, taking the blame upon myself. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Hmm. Well, look here. It looks like you know better than what you're acting on. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> uh, yeah, that sounds like me. Hmm. But come on, give give some grades now. Let's play straight. Okay. All right. What was it like seeing that you were able to connect with these people? Oh my God, that was like the best. Like the best feeling in the world. Right, yes. right. That's a very interesting, positive state, isn't it? Mm -hmm. yes. What was it like when you saw you didn't get through to these people? I got frustrated. Frustrated. Um, I went into not understanding. Yeah, yeah. What, 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 what? Not understanding. Yeah, yeah. What's the reason they're not understanding? I was going into that... Oh, it's yeah. There. It's I your fault. <laughs> I was going there. That's what you're saying, isn't it? Oh, my God. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but on the other hand, you know one thing. They're different. Yes. Yeah, it seems like I do understand. Yeah. What, what, what? I do understand, but I'm yet, I'm saying I don't. But you're still taking the blame. Yes, of course. Hmm. Now, I don't want you to change because... <laughs> uh, Nancy and I always agree that whenever there's a problem, she always takes the blame. <laughs> so I don't believe that. <laughs> <laughs>
So what is the dream telling you? That I'm seeing very well. Mm -hmm. And who has the problem? They do. They do. Same as the first dream. Yes. Right. Hitting you twice. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, please. So if she has a, a seeing of the different people that she could try to accommodate and get yeah. safe, can she do that? Come can on, say more. To, can she try to accommodate the maybe the people that are maybe? They stupid? were so closed off. It was, it was like talking to bricks. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Has anybody ever been there before? <laughs> <laughs> okay, look here. How important is it to put your finger on the problem? That's a shortcut, isn't it? Right? Not that you can't make an analysis of all the pieces and hope to, to hit it, right? You hope to hit it sooner or later. But okay, good luck. It often works, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Thank you, Pierre. Pleasure. Yeah, I, I have Hold it. Uh, Belinda doesn't, doesn't want to go there tonight, the to midwifery, but it seems to me that taking the blame when you know, when you already see that you don't need to. That's right. Ought to be the sine qua non of the papillobus. Yes, it is. So this would naturally, under normal circumstances, say private circumstances lead right into a midwife and you'd be asking for a past scene yes. because of that yes. sign it, right there. At this point, to go further would be midwifery. Mm -hmm. That's right. Wondering if that's where it's going to go. What, what? <laughs> Somebody said she sat back down. I said, because no, I, I want to see where that goes. If it's going to go somewhere or not. And the way you would do it, all right, there's no difference See, she has two experiences here, mm -hmm. and the negative is when she's experiencing this, Yes. and she then takes the what blame. we sometimes call the blame. Yes. That would then be a state of mind. Yes. Right? Here oh, it yes. Is. Very familiar state of mind. And what would we ask you? Where does it go? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, childhood, yes. Pardon? To my childhood. Yeah, 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 that's where it would go. And I preferred not to go into right, that right, right. unless you had an interest in doing it, maybe. I think I'm, it trying might be to I'm trying to remember a scene. Um, where they depict it the best, like the earliest one. Um, and I'm trying to remember, like a particular scene. Well, the, don't go for a scene where you're taking the blame, mm -hmm. right? No, what okay. you want to do is get a description of this negative state and stay with those words. And that's the state of mind we want to go back to. And what were those words again? It happens, Can you remind me? It happens. It looks like you're taking the blame. Yes. But don't go for the word blame. Hold on to the state of mind. Okay. Um, the state of mind. See, that's I'm getting stuck. Hmm? Pardon me? That's where I get stuck. Um, I, I, I call the state of mind the shell. That's what I call it. Um, That's good. Say it again. The shell. Uh, it's like I go into this protective shell. Right, 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 right. Um, I'm no longer me. I'm a shadow of myself. Right, no longer me. Huh. I'm a um, shadow of myself. Mm -hmm. um, I... I go into like my past scene dream or my past dream where I, I feel like I'm asleep. Yeah, yeah. I'm no longer yeah. uh, vibrant and yeah. out. Right. I'm 
closed off mm -hmm. and cold. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not my bubbly, outgoing, um, <coughs> happy self. You know, now, keep all of these words together. Now, what does that remind you of at home? Yeah, I would, I would be in high states of mind when I was a child a lot. I would be in a very happy, outgoing, um, positive, just uh, happy to be alive state of mind. And um, something would happen and my dad would get angry. Yeah, then your dad would get angry because... Yeah. For him, but, well, it's, and hey, I don't for him know. this state of mind is what? But see, I don't know if it was me that was making him angry or what it was that was no, making him angry. No, that's right. You don't know. I don't know. No, but it's often when you're in this state. It seemed that way, yes. Yeah, yeah. And then he'd get angry and he'd be like, you need to be quiet. Or uh, you're being too loud, or um, shutting you down. Yes. Hmm. So over all of this, right? Over all of this, he's putting a blanket over the whole thing, isn't it? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, and then I would have to go into my shell. Right, right, right. Where right. I would be, you yeah. know, like the women, asleep. That's right. right. And peaceful yeah. and, and yeah. zen. Yeah. Yeah. And not showing any type of yeah. outgoingness. I have to be... Shh. Hey, what would follow if it turns out that... That happens every time you're in that state of mind. That he comes and covers it up with a, shuts it down, closes it down. What if that turns out to be true? Mm -hmm. what, what turns would, out to be true? Can well, you if that's what he's doing, what if he's doing that, knowing that that's what he's doing? Oh, I don't think he knows that's what he's doing. Yeah, you want to save him. Uh, I, I think that's important. Because I love my dad. Yeah. Nancy always says the best thing to do is always save the male. <laughs> mm. I'm not, I don't think so, but okay. <laughs> no, no. no, no. You were reluctant to think of it in these terms, so I'm putting them forward. But my dad acts that way because that's his pathologos, right? Is it possible that he might think if you were to stay in that state, you would be vulnerable and others might take advantage of you? Definitely. So therefore... Got to shut it down. Then it's his fear. Is it because I'm, when I'm in this state, I'm beautiful? Then it's his fear. Yes. Ooh. Then but you're, you're I'm okay. wondering why. It's his fear. But I'm wondering why. Oh. Why does, why does he see the state as being dangerous? Well, it may be that universally people are afraid of their children entering into freedom and using their mind. Okay. Is that possible? Looks like it happened in your house. Or are you reluctant to come to that conclusion? To me, I don't know. To me, I don't see it as being dangerous, but yet I can see that why he would think it was dangerous. Mm. Then whose problem is it? His problem. Thank you.
But I will never know why he thinks that way. I, his father and mother did that to him. Oh, yeah. And you know why they did it to him? Because they saw it as dangerous. No, no. No? Their father and mother did, did it, it to them. them. Right. That's so weird, though. Hey, do you know why the grandfather did it to his father, your father? Mm -hmm. Because uh, his father did it to him. Yeah, yeah, it keeps going back, doesn't it? People are afraid of this freedom and openness to the mind and being free. It's so weird why that's the case, but okay. Yeah, it's a tough one, isn't it? Yeah, it's like they're, pri they're trying to protect the person, but yet they're killing the most beautiful thing about them. That's right. That's right. That's a tough one, but it's true, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Good. That last part didn't fit. Is it appropriate to go into a past scene state of mind here? Yeah, I asked. Right. She then decided to go along and look at it in terms of midwifery. Right. So we didn't pull out particular scenes which we really would have to do if we were to do it properly. Okay. Because it seems like we ended up finding her father's Problem. Uh, his state of mind. No, it's his problem. So I'm wondering is it no. better to go no. with a passing no. problem? Okay. Why is it necessary to get particular scenes? I'm sorry, what was that again? Why is it necessary to get early, vivid, early scenes of childhood to explore the nature of these problems? Um, because I think that that shows the person their highest states of mind yeah. and shows the person their, how beautiful they were in that moment and um, to see that that moment wasn't so, yeah. so dangerous that somebody had yeah. to shut it down. Mm -hmm. Confirms it, doesn't it, in your own personal experience and that's essential I would have definitely agree with that. Then you can say, oh, it's not just a theory, you know? Yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm, I'm wondering whether if you don't have a past scene with a particular, then you, you don't have the specific logos that you arrived at. Quite you know, true. The way you understood it. Quite true. And so you have what you were calling a theory, yeah. like a more generic mm. form. And that's really no good, because no. you don't know the truth. But Julian had a question that you didn't respond to. I don't know if she's going to kick it, ask it again. Well, she had... No, she, no, she was contrasting going to midwifery from a dream no. with going to a midwifery from pursuit of goals and hitting blocks. Right, Julian? Yeah. I thought he had answered it, though. What was the answer? Either way is good. Either way is good. <laughs> no, no, that's okay. I just didn't hear that. Either way is good. Okay, I didn't hear it. No, well, she didn't. Yeah, Maybe okay. because my ears are pierced. She okay. <laughs> okay, another one? Oh. All right. Um. Judge Dream. Um, he's got two, okay? The principle often is to take the last one, since dreams are often cumulative. Who would like to play? <laughs> or would you want to first go over it yes. and read it yes. first before you decide? Yes. I'm not up for that one. That's a pretty tough one. What's the point? No. 
This takes simple reading. Find the problem in the dream. All right? It's there. No, it should take oh. the last one. Oh, okay. No yeah. problem with it. Yeah, <laughs> because they're cumulative. Okay. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see it anyway. And therefore, what did you say about it? I said it's kind of fun the way you're doing it with us tonight here. Instead of having to go completely cold turkey, we get to start off with a little hint from you. <laughs> How would you proceed? Anyone? Sir? Thank you for the effort, though. I would ask him, uh, first of all, one sentence says, I was talking to Regina. The what, topic, what, pardon me, say it again. I was talking to Regina. The topic was her interaction. True. And then from that point forward, I don't see much about her interaction so much as I see it about him. So I'd want to know about that dynamic. Come on. That's curiosity. What's the nature of the problem? That he's uh, focusing on there are a lot of things you can be curious about. Okay, put them aside. Oh, I'm not curious Is there some that. evidence there's a problem here? Uh, 
Well, yeah. Satan, he accepts a teaching role, but the topic is her interaction. Like, how are you going to teach somebody else how they interact? Okay. okay. All right. Okay. Um, would you read it, please? I was talking to Regina. The topic was her interaction. I was able to connect with them at the start of the dream. Um, by the way, this is word for word from the audio recording and I don't remember it very well. By the end, I realized they could hit, they could all hit different levels. I accepted a teaching role. <clears throat> I was able to see them for what they were and connect with them at their level understand them more accurately without anything else brought in and I had different ones like different lengths of like eye contact and understanding everyone was at a complete level and by seeing myself as having the ability to see them I was able to go from speculation on incomplete interaction to seeing them in their interaction as a whole and complete. And then I was able to see them, to see it like that, to see it, and then I was able to see them, to see it like that, like from above. Okay, good. Good. Um, say, uh, would you read the second paragraph? I accepted a teaching role. That's enough. What was that like? Um, what was that like? I'm finding it hard to find marks. What? I'm finding it hard to find marks on the state of mind. Uh, to distinguish it as anything. Wait a minute, let me ask you it again. In the dream, what was it like when you accepted a teaching role? That's all. I can't remember. What? I can't remember. Can't remember. Mm. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. <clears throat> Okay, look here. Uh, in terms of the dream, give him a grade as a teacher. Mm. Two. Zero. Huh? Five out of ten. He didn't teach what? anyone. He's got to have it. Pardon me? Five out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure I got it. He's got half of it. He's got the seeing part and seeing what they can see, but right? he doesn't have the guiding them to seeing. Oh, mm. that was just okay. Therefore, well, F. He's got yeah. the first. Okay. Half. I agree. Is that it? No, no. I, oh, I agree. I, do, I don't know what you're agreeing with. The F. Great. Put it in words. Well, I mean, ultimately, he accepted a teaching role that um, he never taught anybody. Really, mm. Mm. I'm kind of with uh, Josh here so far. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, I would ask um, uh, him to give more details about connecting and anagogic um, at the uh, second last paragraph, the last sentence. Yeah. But okay. The issue at this point is judge the teaching. He accepted the teaching role. And in the dream, there's evidence of what he's doing. Well, I'm asking that to... You're asking a different question. No, no. Oh, I'm, good. I'm asking that because it looks like there may be some success in the teaching in that part. So just to... That's why I would ask... Uh, 
the dream out of Babylon. Okay, okay. I might change my mind if you can tell me what it meant to have everyone at a complete level. Whether whether is that an indication that his teaching was a success? If everyone was at a complete level? No, oh, okay. Those are good those are points of curiosity, sure. Worthwhile. I wonder who he accepted the role from. What? Who, who did he accept the role from? Uh, it's not part of the dream. Why ask you? Okay. No, no, what why, was he what, please, please, please. Why do you ask you? That's not part of the dream. Oh, okay. How about what was he supposed to teach? Was that a if so, would you give him a grade as a teacher as teaching. This is what has happened. Well, um Is he Who's the them that he was well, saying? Through this whole thing, is he talking about what he's doing? Or is he talking about his teaching role? Which? Well, it looks like he's very receptive. He's, if, if anything, he's receptive. He understands them. He doesn't give them. Right, right. This yeah. is showing right, that... Uh, these people, he's showing evidence of what? Understanding. Understanding them. And go ahead, Adam. And therefore, it, well, um, it just he, it, he's receiving. They're they're doing something. He's getting it. He's getting what they're doing. But he's not. What do you want to call that? Uh, teaching. Teaching. <laughs> yeah, okay. Right. 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 So. That was Josh's point, was it not? Same thing? Uh, Josh's point was that he had half of the job of a teacher, namely that he had seen where they were at. And uh, this point is that he is, uh, that he is not giving them any teaching. Mm -hmm. No. Well, Okay, so if you see a difference between those... I do, yes. Because no, I was a teacher. Okay, so yeah. I, yeah, you, 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 you yeah. give the content to them. No, I heard that. He didn't bring them to any understanding. But that's okay. Well, okay, all right. Okay, so therefore, see, he doesn't have a state of mind for the teaching all of it. Right. Where, where is his state of mind? Well, he, he well, sees himself as on himself. Yeah, on himself. That's right. Right, 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 right. right. I think, see, right. I'm giving him a While zero. While this is going on, his concern is, there is a difference. in a variety of ways, on himself, uh -huh. and how he is relating to these people. What is he discovering relating to these people? What is it? But now, in terms of the dream, we want to know what grade you would give, that's always a question we always ask, right? How is the person doing in the dream, given the goal in the dream? And now you have to make a judgment. Mm -hmm. What grade? F. F. Even though he may have... A great understanding. great understanding, he's not... Teaching. Teaching. Hmm. Huh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. By the way, from the material, does it look like he might be able to? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But he's not. But he's not. And the reason for that in terms of the dream? Is because he's focused he's focusing on himself. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Hmm. So, um, now what would be most interesting would be to pick up the high point in his rec reflection and go to that last line. Mm -hmm. He's... Uh, 
went from strenuous and speculative to compassionate, connecting, and anagogy. Right. Okay, in the dream, do you have any recollection of doing that with any of these people? And if so, can you tell us the subject and what you were doing? Um, like, what are you calling in the dream anagogic? Both the way I'm seeing and the uh, effect I'm having on the people who I'm now seeing in this way. Pardon me. In the dream, right, they're using, I'm connecting and anagogic. Specifically in the dream, what is going on that brought you to that conclusion? Like do you have any content or um, in the dream? It's in the, it's, it must be in the dream. Yeah. Um, by seeing them from above, I was able to see a light around. <clears throat> to see a light around them and as such relate to them in a calmer, more, compa more compassionate way and I remember big smiles on their faces in a sense like they can move for uh, forward from here. Uh, I, I'm, in my head I've got an image of Barbara and uh, Elder talking together with like a light around them. Okay, that, that could be true. But specifically, come on. What is anagogic about what you're doing, connecting and an anagogic? Okay, they're, they're in uh, some kind of light, so... so. So from there I could see a possibility of more uh, beneficial communication and interaction so they could be raised up to an even higher level than they're at. Okay, look here. I have a simple question, okay. I want to know what you're pointing to in the dream that deserves this word, and then I'm going to go for this word next, okay? So there you're working with, see, look here. Yeah. You're working with these people. Now what was it about working with them that deserved this term? Yeah, they're in a state of light. Yeah, okay. It was a comparison between how I was relating to them before. Okay. Um, Look here. It was a way of describing the way I was before. In comparison to that in comparison with them. With that. Well, sorry. Yeah, you're, no, you Barbara's have, right. You have with them. Is that right? Yeah, so... That, okay. That's okay. No, no I, thought you said I want to them. correct you. What do you say? Oh, um, that he's comparing his two styles of interaction. Yeah, okay. What, what do you want to correct? Well, you, uh, the way I was before in comparison with that. Okay. It was a way of... Describing. Describing. Is that okay? okay? Well, he... Well, I'll, I'll take it out. Okay. You want to just say it again? A, a way of describing... Oh, it is describing. The state I'm currently in, in reference to my previous way of seeing. Okay. And describing the way I was before in comparison with them. The way I am now in comparison to the way I was before. Okay. You're making a judgment this way and it's before and after. Is that right? Yes. Is that right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Let's do it again. I call it anagogy because it was a way of describing the way I was before no. in comparison with the way they were before. 
The way the uh, way I was before. The way I am now. Go ahead. Take this off. Am now in comparison to with before. Okay. Jed, now the first time you said it, I, I thought I heard you say it, the way I am interacting with them now in comparison no. to the way that I was interacting with them before. Both right. things. Right. I'm so describing both two things. interactions right. Right. before and after. Yes. Right. So it's not just about the way I am, it's the way I, I am interacting with them before and after. But right. see, the, the interesting thing about that, your change yeah. is that this brought, brings it back to, his, this way of describing it yeah. is exactly part of the problem. Is that it's it, focused on him. It's only on him, right? right. So yes, right. he did talk about the interaction, but that, that's what makes the rephrasing so interesting. Yes, yeah. you're right. Which you right. kind of... Yeah, I'm trying to get rid of that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're saying that still is doing the same thing. Yeah. Right. And I was saying that his former way was, yeah. was comparing interactions, but the restatement was not. Right. And we want to know, in terms of the dream, that that is the way he's using this word in the dream. Yes. So far we haven't got a good right? that. Yep. Yes, describing both my state and yeah. my interaction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not talking about them, you're talking about your state. Yeah, that's right. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wait a minute, then you're going through the change, not them. And then why are you calling what? They're talking to me to be understood at the spiritual level. Mm -hmm. Then they're doing what? They're doing the talking. They're talking to you yep. on a spiritual level and that brings about the changes in you. By the way, no, well, this is in terms of the content of the dream, then, who's the teacher? You or them? They are coming. I am now seeing them as coming to me to be understood at their spiritual level. So my new way of yeah. seeing They're talking to me. Right? Yeah. To be understood on their spiritual level. And that has the effect on me, such as we described. Is that right? So then, what is the effect of their talking to me? What is the effect that has them? That you move from a before straight and an after straight. Is that right? This way of seeing them as coming to talk to me was a byproduct of the change earlier. Um, but you're right, yes, they are coming to me. Let's see, in terms of the dream, what is the effect of their talking to you on this level? You saying, it changed me from a before straight to an after state. Therefore, how they're doing some good work with you, aren't they, in terms of this dream? I'm sorry, I'm not being very clear. Um, the the change had already happened. This is me describing... I'm the way you were now versus before. Where did the change happen, Jed? Um, what brought about the change? Yeah. It's early, it's not even described in the dream. This, part, this is the end of the dream. So the change is already there. The change is already there? Yeah, so it's not that them coming to me helped me un understand that. But so the, the change isn't in the dream despite the fact that the two states are in the dream? What two states? They're the talking states to me, right? Yep. To be understood at their spiritual level. So what are they doing? I, I see what you're saying no, exactly, Pierre. But I'm wondering about the statement, by seeing myself as having the ability to see them, yes. I was able to go from speculation on incomplete interaction to seeing them in their interaction as a whole and complete. 
Yep. That looks like, what would you call that point, Jed? That's, a, that's the turning point. That's the turning point. Done. So is that then the cause of the difference? Or, or you're saying, you just said that it took place, it's not in the dream, but that looks like a turning point. So yep. where do you stand with it now? I'm with you. No. No. Do you want to conclude? Come on. Go well, ahead. I would conclude it looks like he's with me, that this turning of his vision on himself to see yeah. that he had a certain That's energy true. made him able to trans to change into an anagogic, compassionate and connecting person. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but I don't see that there's any evidence that he functioned that way in the dream. That's right. Yes. That's right. That's central. So now put in that curious line about they're talking to him. Yeah, then it looks like their their function doesn't in the dream looks like it's bringing you up, yep. and therefore their function anagogically. Right. Then they're their function their anagogically. Teaching. That's right. Yeah. So therefore they are being a teacher, a teacher. and bringing him up. Bringing him up. That's what it looks like. Right. No. What was that like to see that they were doing that to you, with you, right? So now we have a different drama. We have this going on. Mm -hmm. so now it's their, their interaction with our dreamer that is bringing about an anagogic function. So, he's a teacher that is, now we go back, he's a teacher that is? Being taught, or a student. Is learning. Is, is learning, no. yes. No. 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 Yeah. No. By the people you are working with. Yes. But as far as your teaching is concerned, give yourself a grade for it. Oh, oh. But are you showing a lot of positives? Yes. But are you sharing it? Not yet, no. No, no. Not as a, not in the teaching role, right? No. Yeah, no, yeah, no. Yeah. But you are in a very interesting scene where they are willing to help the teacher and raise him to a higher level. Mm -hmm. Right? So that's a very interesting kind of dream. Mm -hmm. What does this do to you to reflect it in terms of the dynamics of the dream? I'm trying to apply it to my uh, everyday world so I can better understand myself. Yeah, of course, that is what I ask. What does this analysis do to you? So what? It's like, what does this do to you? Looking at the dream and the way in which we're describing it with your help. Um, it, I like it. I'm able to sort of um, view myself as an object of study. That sounded clumsy. Um, it's interesting. I'm hoping to learn about myself. I didn't hear you. Um, can you ask the question again, please? Just so what? What's that do to you? Well, I... Uh, I want to know if this dynamic is playing out in my real life and if I can... S well, no, no, you tell us, not we tell you. Oh. Um. <laughs> well, it tells me that there's something more I should be doing. There's more that you should look? That doesn't help. It doesn't answer your question. Um, it feels good to be able to learn about myself. Let me ask you this. Did you have a different view of this dream before we went through analysis? Oh, yes. Yep. Oh, oh, oh. It's gone through a change. Mm. Oh, what do you think of the change? Um.
it's good. Um, the first way of seeing it was very... The words above that have come up in a uh, that have come up in a previous dream um, uh, isolates me, separates me. I don't like those feelings. Um, this seems like a wonderful process, but also something to be learned from. I'm struggling. How do I answer the question? Your conclusions, I don't think, fit the dream because. Yeah. Uh, this dream is showing you're doing a lot of positive things, mm. but you're not. But the drama of the dream is different than the way you understood it. Mm -hmm. uh, this isn't. These are not negatives. No. Right. Nice abilities being shown. Wouldn't it be wonderful to have a couple of specific examples? of your working with people and what, come, what how you did whatever it is you did? Do you have any of those? Sure. Huh? Um, yes. In the dream? Oh, in the dream. Only. Um, uh, and all I remember is um, uh, Barbara and Elder smiling and looking towards me in light. But there doesn't seem to be much content. Yeah, from my part that yeah, way. Yeah, 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 yeah. So look here. With such a dream, uh, notice there are no feelings, states of mind here. The, right? Um, like, what was it like having a teaching role and you're not teaching? But your students are teaching you. Yeah. Okay. What is, what would the effect that had? Uh, yeah, I'm not fulfilling the role. Yeah. Pardon me. I'm not, I'm not fulfilling the role. That's true. I asked what What's effect it had yeah. on you. Um. Specifically. What was it like being the subject of your students helping you to raise your level of thinking on a on a gajic level? Oh, that was great. That was wonderful feeling. A good no. feeling. Right. Just positive. Positive feeling. Yeah. yeah. Yep. The thing that's missing is your role. Yep. Right. You're not playing out your role. What does that do to you? To see that. Well, it um, it reminds me of how I've been feeling for a long time. I don't know. What Your whole life. Y yes. Mm -hmm. Same issue. Now, if, if you want to go into midwifery, you would then proceed in it, right? Yes, please. Okay. But but I'd prefer not to. Okay. But you've done enough. Can we go into midwifery if we don't have states of mind? <laughs> Well, the only word you got is the recognition that he's aware of that state of mind his whole life. Uh, That's not specific, you see. Yeah. So even though it's pervasive, mm -hmm. so I'd say, okay, we'll find another time to do it. Oh, I'd prefer to do it now if we can. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. I'd prefer to do it now if we can. Um, I'd really like to put that Look. in the same state of mind. The question is, say, to go into midwifery, you need a, a description of a state of mind, right? And for the, the words, the words are necessary in each case to be brought together into a unity, and on that basis, play the game. We don't have that. Uh, didn't, you, didn't you earlier mention something about a previous dream about being above? Yes, I did. That, that might be a um, state of mind. Go ahead and try it. A negative state, though? Yeah. He, you described it as negative, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm. 
what, what's the connection? What's well, the even in this, there's sort of like a light experience about me and a positive change in all this interaction, except there is that feeling of being isolated and alone and not being connected with the whole, in a sense, being above it. That light feeling as well, it's the same feeling as that last dream that we've done. Okay, now we're getting more content. Right? Say it again. Got them? Got them? Yeah, light, above, isolated. Oh, isolated. Um, unattached from the group. Um, uh, above, light, airy. Um, yeah, like bittersweet. Okay. Um, when did this state of mind occur in the dream? Um, right at the end. When? Right at the end. Uh, come on, where? Um, I don't share. I was able to see them, to see it like I'm from above, like I'm above it. I'm able to see them, right? I was able to see them. To see them like that, like from above. Hey, you too are above, like I'm above it as well. Is that the way you read it? Like, I'm above... So the... are they? No, they're below. Is that what it says? Yeah. I'm above it. Yeah, I'm above their interaction. They they are too. Oh, no. That's what it says, isn't it? They got it wrong? Oh. Don't like I'm that. able to see them, to see them like that, yeah. like from above. Like from above, yeah. Oh, sorry, I'm from above. And you're also above. No, no, both. I just repeated it. Uh, this is just a repetition. I'm above them. They're not with me. Oh, God, not but if you're above them, yeah. you're saying, nonetheless, I feel isolated, unaffected. But also bright and... You got a, one state with two states in it. Yeah. So I'd put it aside and explore it some other time because it's going to take some time to straighten it out. Oh. So. Uh, is there something that I could do better so it's what? Is there something I could do better so it's clear? Well, this, at this state, you're above. Mm. You're above them. Yeah, and not fulfilling my role. Of, of course not. Yeah. Yep. Then how are these words connected with specific words in the dream? From above. I'm above it. Um, the See, in this dream, all of these things being above are considered high significant states. Yes. But you're above, and you're saying that doesn't fit the way all the other people fit when they are above. Yeah, different sort of above, yeah. But they're not above. I, I say to see it like that, that's... Oh, I should be following you, shouldn't I? So there are two senses of above. It's with them, it's okay. With you, it's not. Yeah. Like, I'm physically above in the dream. You're physically above, yeah. not emotionally. Okay. Oh, yes, and emotionally, yes. Yes. I don't mind. Whatever you say, I'll use. Well, that's the dream. The dream is I'm able to see these interactions in a new way because I'm 
above emotionally and physically in the dream and therefore able to relate to them in a better way, understand them, be more compassionate. Yeah, see, I have trouble reconciling that with these words. That's why I need to get you to pinpoint these expressions in particular words in the dream. Yeah. Otherwise, I can't locate them. Like, okay. So, so read where that fits. Um, How do you want to change it? So between the uh, second and third paragraph, there's a shift of my perspective within the dream. Um, like during the dream, I'm changing my way of seeing everybody in it. And at the end, it's changed to the point where I'm floating above them. Okay. Not too much as I can do with it. Oh, I'm trying okay. my best to find something. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Am I doing something wrong that I can fix? Am I doing something wrong that I can fix so I can... Well, I can't reconcile what you're saying with the dream, so I can't do anything. Uh, would it help if I drew it? Would you agree, the middle paragraph, how are you doing? Good. Except for not teaching them. So bad as a teacher. But, but you're doing advice. fine. Yes. You're up above. Yes. You're doing fine. Yeah. I can't find the negative. You're fine. You're above. It's all positive. Yeah. But you're adding a bunch of negatives. And I'm saying, where does it fit? I'll put it wherever you want. And I'm having trouble getting you to pinpoint it in terms of the dream. Is that my pathologos that I'm adding negative? I don't know anything oh, about oh, pathologos. Okay. I just want to know about the dream. Yes, I'm with you. So how do we proceed? Oh. Can I assume you now can do it or can't? I can. You can? Yes. Where? It certainly can't be in the middle paragraph, agree? The teaching, no. No, I didn't do any teaching, um, but the states are good states. Where would you put the negative state you previously described? I have the same question. I think it's because when we saw that I wasn't fulfilling the role as the teacher, um, I, Look, you've discovered that in this analysis, right? Mm. But in the dream, at that moment in the dream, where are the negative states you just described? Are you going to say it's when I realized I wasn't teaching? No, I didn't but realize that's not in no. the dream. No, there are no negative states in the dream. Okay, because of that, I say, okay, put it aside. Then what's the significance of me having it? <laughs> Insight into the teaching room. I feel like I failed miserably at this dream. Yep. Now, it may be, of course, that Jeff was correct. He may have taken the first dream as more central hmm. and it could open up more fully than the present one we're dealing with. So you may have had the right hunch to begin with. Okay. Okay, let's leave that. Okay, okay. Next dream. Can we, uh, can we take a three minute break while I change batteries? Sure. Elder, Elder, you me? Yeah. Don?
We are now filming. Okay. Are you up for it? Okay. Anyone up? Going one? Okay. Good. Yay. <laughs> Thank you, Julie. Just make sure you read this carefully. Like those things. I know. I, was I like to, those things. <laughs> starting to write down some stuff you wrote, and I was like, "Why am I doing that?" Yeah. <laughs> what am I using a pencil for? <laughs> <laughs> when you have all this yeah. technology, what are you using? I watching a film in my past, but I was also there in real time, like now. Uh, it seemed like we were in a house that we lived in before, but it wasn't. I was standing in the living room looking towards the backyard from about 10 feet away, looking at some stuff in front of the windows. Then I noticed something fall on the right side, like a Christmas tree. Then some branches floated, that came up and floated towards me and go behind me. Then I look out the back window and see an unkept pool with a lot of debris in the deep end, like a tornado hit. That's where I noticed it wasn't a home I lived in. That's it. Okay, these are the parts. Sorry. These are the places where, where I would like to see you fill in some states of mind. When you are watching a film in your past, you're also there in real time. First of all, if you can make that division more clear, that would be good. But I want to know what that was like for you. What's the state of mind that, as you're experiencing that? And there are two points of it. Once when you are seeing the movie in the past, and then when you realize that, it, that it's now and it's the past. Um. Well, the first state was curiosity, and uh, it was like waiting for something to refresh my memory. Um, I was looking for something, like a landmark, but uh, I didn't see any. 
to the state of mind I was in uh, was curiosity and uh, <coughs> so curiosity expectation. So goes with waiting for something to refresh your your state your your memory. Um. Hmm. We can leave that if you want. Just uh, at what point did you realize in the watching of the film in the past that you were also in the present? Well, the reason why is because um, in the, the state of mind I was in, it was like I was watching something of, of my past. But you were watching something of your past. Of my past, yes. But the, the thing was, is it, it, I was standing there and looking. There was no, I wasn't watching a TV or nothing. I was actually there watching it. Right. And, uh, but the, the feeling was like uh, I was watching something. Is that a feeling? Um... Watching something from my past. Uh, I don't know. I don't know why I have that feeling. No, no, no. You, ha you have the feeling that you're watching something from your past, mm -hmm. but you're not sure in the dream. I'm looking for something to reflect, refresh my memory so of the, the past. What's the movie about? Do you, do you have any idea in the dream what the content of it is? Well, what I, what I thought in my mind was looking at uh, like my children's videos of seeing my children run around and stuff and seeing so past you're in memories. The dream and you're looking at the movie I'm, and I'm, are you seeing yourself? I'm not seeing as anybody. A child or? No, I'm in my I'm like I am now. You are. See, this is weird. I, I it's Well, that's the thing. We that's what we want that's why we want to see in the dream what you're what you're experiencing. Mhm. Mm right? Like the the whole time I'm watching or I'm standing there it, it Really, I don't have any, I don't feel I have any, like, emotion, like, uh, happy, sad, um, any of that. It's, it's more of just observing and noticing things. So then what pulls you into that sense that you're in the now? Um, because I'm standing there watching it happen. Now. And now. what makes mm -hmm. you sure that, that it's now and not then? Um, because I was, I was making the conscious effort to look out the window at the time. You see what I'm saying? So then that period of time, that matches this scene where you're looking out the window and all that other stuff happens? Yeah, and, and I'm looking out the window to, to notice any landmarks and stuff, and I don't notice any, but I notice all the debris in the deep end. Uh-huh. What's that like looking out the back window and doing it? Um, curious, again. The same type of curiosity? Mm hmm just like looking out and saying, okay, what, what, what do I see out there? Anything that, that uh, brings back any memories. And I noticed that I'd never seen any of it before, that I recall. And, uh, so that that reflection of, of seeing that, what, what, what did you say? I've never seen that. What did you say? I've never been in that time that I can recall, or in that place that I can recall. It was unfamiliar. And what's that like? And that's when you notice, right? Mm -hmm. So what is that? What Un unfamiliar. Let him finish. He's not. He's thinking. Yeah. You um. <clears throat> Well, it's, I'm unfamiliar with a lot of things. <laughs> um, yeah, but this is a, it's a, it's a particular type of unfamiliarity, though, right? Yes. It, 
in seeing that, what what happened when you saw that it was unfamiliar? It, it brought me to the to the realization that uh, that maybe it wasn't in the past. Maybe. Or yeah. So we so we still need to know what it, what it's like to see something unfamiliar. Oh, to see something unfamiliar, it's. Um, or what it was like then. Well, at that moment, seeing all the debris and seeing the, the, the place, I was happy that it wasn't my home. Happy that what? It wasn't my home. So in the beginning when you're looking at the film and you're seeing that you're looking at it now, waiting for something to refresh like a landmark, did you get it? No. Did you get well, something that refreshed your no. memory like a landmark? Mm -mm. What was this? Well, I know that was noticing that it, I, uh, I wasn't there. in the past. So then, where are you in the dream, watching the movie? <coughs> I'm standing there, just Looking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm just looking. What do you think is, uh, what do you think the problem is in the dream, if, if there is one? I didn't, I, honestly, I, I don't think there was a problem. I don't know. I don't think there was. Well, why do you think the dream master is calling your attention to time like that? I mean, I have no idea. Yeah. What's going on? Yeah. What's the message? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Um, so, um, <clears throat> If you just look at the dream as a whole, mm -hmm. would you not agree it's worth knowing what your true home is? Mm -hmm. Yes. Is this dream telling you something about your old home mm -hmm. that wasn't really a home? And now you're very pleased to discover that's not? Yeah, definitely. I have a different home than my old home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, how important is that? Very. Very. Mm -hmm. It's see, a lot different. It's a, take, it, take it as a whole. See, if this is a holistic dream, right? And notice that beautiful line. It's my home, but it's not really my home. That's right, see? Your early home really wasn't your home. And now you're seeing what it really is that you may have overlooked. It's full of everything you described. Your reaction is beautiful, right? Mm -hmm. Hey, man, I'm happy. I'm out of there. Mm -hmm. That's not my true home, right? Right. <laughs> it's a good dream, isn't it? <laughs> That's a good dream. You know, 
It's kind, of, it's kind of Parmenidean or something. Yes, go ahead. You know, he's not like you're looking for anything that will remind, that will tell you, oh yeah, I recognize this is my book. And you don't see anything until you see the debris at the deep end of the pool and then you know this is not my home. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So you, you end up knowing that that's not your home. But you, you still don't know. Yeah. Yeah. What your home is. Everyone wants to find their true home. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. That's. To Pierre, I think you could put, push this. Yes. Because I think he's having an almost having an enlightenment experience. Yes. That when yes. He, yes when that's he right. Sees See the difference when he notices that he's yeah. not there. It's like I bet it smacks him more than he's more than he's revealing. That's right. All right, that's right. That's right. See, I've never been in that place, right? I think so. I've never really been in that place. But he knew in that instant it wasn't his house. Right. 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 Yeah. Fun. Thank you. Thank you. Fun. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay. Yeah, okay. okay. We'll do it tomorrow morning? Okay. okay. We'll do the other one tomorrow morning. Shall we take a break or whatever we do?